What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai Sunny One here bringing another video. Today, I wanted to start doing our um, reaction time uh, commercial reviews for Star Wars. Uh, I've been looking around now, looking at some clips. Uh, as far as how I plan on organizing this, uh, just hold on one second, guys. I'm just, there we go. Uh, something was on the, le on, uh, the flap of my uh, screen for some reason. Forget it. Um, so, the, so the thing was is that the way I wanted to organize this was I wanted to start it off the way that the movies were made. Um, I could have started off one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then even do seven commercials. Uh, I'm gonna do four, five, six, one, two, three, and then seven. Uh, the way that the movies were made, and just in general, I feel like uh, I'd rather have things lo looking progressively better visually um, that, rather than having it jump back and forth where it starts off with better visual content but it get, but then it goes backwards into the older VHS and like lower quality content um, that you know is considered by many probably more of their favorite um, you know the the original three compared to the newer stuff even though the newer stuff has better visual quality although they've updated it anyway <clears throat> today we're going to be starting with star wars episode four a new hope uh i guarantee this will be split into at least two or three parts i don't know how many uh i'll tell you this much right now uh a lot of these will be toy commercials for a new hope especially there might be some that aren't but a lot will uh, for those that do not know, the company that has made the uh, toys for the pa in the past for um, Star Wars, and I'm not sure if they do it anymore, I, I don't really know if they're around anymore, is Kenner. Uh, Kenner's done Star Wars, Kenner's done Indiana Jones, Kenner's done a, g a good number of different things, but, uh, they're t but the one thing that really made them known and like everyone used to always recognize them was Star Wars. Star Wars was the thing that made Kenner pro probably known more than any anything else. Like, I mean, there were other properties that, that Kenner did, but like that was probably their biggest property and their most successful. So, if you see Kenner, then you'll understand that that, that that's the reason why you'll hear, hear Kenner a lot. So, I just want to give you guys a heads up and so that you guys could understand so that there isn't any confusion i don't know if there would be but i'm just mentioning that just in general because currently i know that kenner doesn't do star wars anymore currently uh a completely different company i'm, for, I'm forgetting now if it's just disney like I, I know that disney owns star wars but i forget who's making the toys now uh you know we'll find out in the um eventually when we get to episode seven but for now, we're going to episode four. So, anyway, guys, here we go. From Kenner's Star Wars collection, each sold separately, large sized Darth Vader with his lightsaber. Princess Leia, champion of the rebel cause, with her defender, Luke Skywalker. He can swing him into action on his grappling hook. And load Chewbacca's laser crossbow. Star Wars large size action figures, up to 15 inches tall, and ready for action. Large size Darth Vader, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, each sold separately from Kenner. Okay, so that first commercial was a very simple one. Uh, it's a nice commercial for those that do not know. Uh, hold on one second, my glasses are a little bit dirty. It's fine. Um, for those who do not know, Episode Four came out in 1977. Uh, Interestingly enough, uh, think of it this way. That's about, how many years is that now? Uh, it's 38 years now. 38 years, that's about right. 38 years since uh, episode four came out, uh, if you're curious. Uh, I just wanted to think to myself, like, how long has the Star Wars franchise been around? That's about right. It's crazy. Um, this was a pretty simple commercial. Uh, what they showed off, obviously, was these fig uh, figures. Uh, clearly, here you c you can tell that these are not like you know the the action figure like figures that they have for Star Wars. Typically, these are more of doll uh, doll like figures rather than the whole entire uh, action fi figure concept. Uh, very simple, but uh, definitely doll based. 
especially the Princess Leia figure that you saw there. I mean, pretty clear that that was supposed to, that that was doll based rather than uh, anything else. Um, but it was a good, it was a, a nice and simple commercial, and I definitely had that 70s vibe, and the music and everything definitely had that, the vibe of the era, and, you know, it was just very nice and simple, and the kids were, like, you know, innocent, very, very innocent, <laughs> I mean, super innocent, uh, the grappling hook that they said that he had, that's pretty much a piece of string, if you're curious, I, I guarantee you that, I don't personally have it, but I'm just saying that if you have an RES, it's probably just a piece of string that they attached on to his arm and they consider it a grappling hook in the video but it probably was by no means a grappling hook uh anyway that's about it for me uh, this was a very short commercial but there but let's go on to the next uh one so here we go guys it's Star Wars radio-controlled R2-D2. Two 9-volt and two C alkaline batteries not included. You can make R2-D2 move, beep, and flash his light by wireless radio control. Hey, let me try. You can make R2 move forward. Look out, Dad! Backward, turn and beep. Hurry, turn, Dad! Radio-controlled R2-D2 from the Star Wars collection by Kenner. Okay. Um, that was kind of a goofy commercial. The dog really shouldn't have reacted that much by, like, running away from it. The the little R2-D2 was, like, so small. I mean, it's not even that big of a deal. And the interesting thing, though, is, is that I actually find that, find that really interesting because the current, uh, uh, droid-like uh, figure that we're getting is going to be BB-8, and BB-8 got a recent uh, toy that uh, you can con you can remote control, and there's also like a phone version where you can use the phone. That's the one that's more expensive, the phone one, and it's actually higher quality. But just in general, it's like you have a small figure in it, and it will move around. Although that one has uh, some very interesting uh, work done on that. But uh, this is, but you know, for its time, this was a huge deal. Uh, you know, the remote controlled figures and being able to move back and forth and all that. I mean, it, it was a big deal. One thing that I do have to say is that the noise it makes is so annoying. Um, they do mention like the beeping. From what I could tell, the only beeping I heard was just the was just the moving of the motor. I didn't hear much beeping of any other sort. Like if they really wanted to have some beeping, and they would have had like the actual beeping from the movie or something, which clearly, at least from that video, you have no idea it would even have the ability to do that because all I heard was just all that annoying rotor movement that just was f so frustrating. I mean, that's really what I noticed a lot of, and it's just like, yeah, that's, I mean, for its time, it was a big deal, but now I would definitely say that they would need to find a way to, like, minimalize that sound or find some, or find some way to just make continuous sound that wasn't that. Yeah. So, let's keep going, guys. <laughs> Escape pod landing. Where am I? It's the new Star Wars Land of the Jawas that you put together. Action figures sold separately. You can move the action lever and make the Jawa capture R2-D2. R2, are you all right? What are they doing to you? You can raise the elevator and make R2-D2 disappear into the sand crawler. Hang on, R2. I'm right behind you. Me too. <laughs> Kenner's new Star Wars Land of the Jawas. Action figures each sold separately. Okay, so that next com commercial was Star Wars Land of the Jawas. Uh, for those that do not know, the Jawas are uh, the, the people with the weird faces. You probably saw the commercial, obviously. Um, it was kind of a weird commercial, and obviously, like, C-3PO would not just suddenly climb up a shaft and just start talking to, to R2-D2 to rescue him, although he probably would have rescued him or tried to. I mean, it's C-3PO. What is C-3PO going to even do? Not much, I'll tell you that much. I mean, more likely than not, the Jawas will do more to, uh, to C-3PO than C-3PO will do to, them, do to him. Uh, um, you know, it was a good 
uh, look to the overall set. Uh, for those that do not know, uh, there are several playsets that have been made for Star Wars, especially the older um, series of Star Wars. Uh, definitely a lot of different playsets and uh, different things you can combine. And that and that whole entire Land of the Jawa thing, that was a good size uh, set. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And I do like the vehicle in the background for the Jawas, which was really nice to see that. Uh, definitely shows that they are, uh, you know, paying attention to that. But then again, back then they definitely wanted to make things very clear that, like, we're talking Jawas, you're going to see that vehicle. Like, it's just plain and simple that. If you if you know it's that, then it's going to match. You see? Yeah, yeah. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, that was a perfectly good commercial, fun commercial. I, I actually really liked that commercial. Um, and Jawas are kind of just unique characters, just very unique. I don't have anything against them. They're, they're just, they're very different, and that's about it. <laughs> so let's keep going, guys.